The new 3 LCD TV is um, the first time we've got a, a very large screen size at quite an affordable price. So we get very high picture quality at a very thin television. So for quite a big space saving, you now get a very large screen size. Here on the 3 LCD TV, we see a lot of detail, and this is because of the increased resolution of the panels. You can see a lot more detail on this thatched roof, and also the sharpness of the flower is very, very important. And also notice the colour, the most natural colour, because of the three LCD panels inside the TV. Key things to notice is the, the resolution of the screen. But if you compare this to a low resolution plasma television, you may only have half a million pixels being displayed. So three LCD is Sony's way of making fantastic picture quality from a rear projection television. And how we do this is to use three LCD panels like this. One for red, one for green, and one for blue. So we firstly, we take the bulb from the TV, which shines a very uniform, bright white light source, but then we divide the light into its component, red, green, and blue. And we do, do it using this thing here, called a dichroic mirror, and then we shine each of those red, green, and blue light through one of these. So in fact, we have three of these devices, and we then use a prism, which is this thing here, to recombine the three beams. Compared with other competitive rear projection technologies such as DLP, you've split the white light into its component colors, and you've combined it into the prism, and then you project the complete color image onto the screen. Instead of having a device such as this, which is called transmissive, either light goes through it, DLP has uh, a series of mirrors, maybe half a million really, really small mirrors on here, and the light, white light reflects from them um, to give you the picture. Now, as they only use one device and not three, they have to create color in a different way. So what they do is they use a little color wheel. It's a tiny wheel, it's about this sort of size, which is spinning very, very fast, several thousand times a second, and the wheel consists of red, green, and blue portions. The downside of that is, at any instant, you are only seeing the red version, and then the blue version, and then the green version of the picture. When the light, when the picture comes to your eye, you are seeing it in its component parts. The downside of this is when you look at white images or edges on a DLP TV screen, you will see something called color breaking. This is where you see almost shadows around an edge within the picture. Once you've seen it, it's very, very frustrating and very difficult to ignore. And of course, with 3 LCD, as the image you are seeing is true color, then you don't have this annoying artifact. Another difference between 3 LCD and DLP is actually the resolution. Now, in many cases, on the 3 LCD, we said earlier that we have almost a million pixels on here. In some very low resolution DLP products, they may only have half a million pixels. But what they try to do is they, they sort of shuffle the pixels, if you like, to give the illusion of a much more resolution in the picture. They're trying to fool you into thinking there's more pixels there than there actually is. Whereby with here, we have true um, high definition resolution on one of these images. One other way that we can improve the picture quality is to actually address the screen itself. Now viewing angle is very critical for rear projection television. And so we do two things. The first one is to have a, what's known as a, a Fresnel screen. This ensures that the brightness of the picture is uniform throughout the whole screen. Because normally a bulb is very, very bright in the middle but very, very dark on the outside. So we use this Fresnel screen to give a uniform light. Then we need to make the picture viewable to a wide audience, so we use what's called a lenticular screen here to disperse the light to a much wider viewing angle. So nowadays, consumers want to connect a variety of devices to their TV because they're using it for multiple tasks, not just for watching television. We now have, for the very first time on 3LCD, High Definition Multimedia Interface, HDMI, which allows you to connect in the future PlayStation 3 and also high definition set-top boxes from, from broadcasters when they start very, very soon. 
In addition, there is PC input, so you can share your PowerPoint presentations. One advantage of 3LCD TV is that you can extend its life by simply replacing the bulb, which is situated just behind here. But also importantly is at the bottom, this speaker portion, which before was quite big, maybe almost this high, is now very, very small. And the reason for this is because the speakers inside um, the TV set here are positioned at a slight angle just behind the front. So what happens is the sound is reflected from this front plate out towards the, uh, out towards the viewer, but what it means is that this height is much smaller. So you get a much more compact design TV. And the other interesting feature about the 3 LCD uh, projection television is that the power consumption is very low. Typically 150, 200 watts compared with 400 for a plasma TV. So not only is this lightweight and good picture, but it is also very energy efficient. So high definition has a lot of benefits for the consumer. In fact, the uh, high definition picture has almost five times the amount of picture and sound information than a normal DVD has. So if you imagine your DVD picture quality, but imagine five times more picture quality, much more detailed images, much sharper images, much more bright colors, bold scenes. Um, and these are the benefits of high definition. So when a customer buys a HD ready set, he can look forward to enjoying that level of picture quality in the future. One of the biggest challenge we have uh, with the launch of 50-inch uh, Bravia TV, uh, 3LCD Bravia TV, is in fact uh, to display it in store in a proper manner, to experience uh, this great screen, large screen, uh, consumer have to see it in store. Of course, the first step is to put the product in store and communicate its benefit to the consumers. For the same physical size of most of the 42-inch VGA plasma display and relatively the same price, our 50-inch Bravia TV with 3LCD technology will offer 8-inch more screen size, which is in fact 40% more viewing experience for the consumer. The consumer will also benefit from 2.7 megapixels resolution. This means more details. In fact, this is also two times the number of pixels of a 42-inch VGA plasma display. Last but not least, our 15-inch Bravia TV with 3LCD technology is future-proof, being HD-ready. Well, I think the the biggest thing to expect from Sony Europe in the future is leadership in the area of personalization and recommendation engines. Um, I think we have some fairly uh, unique and cutting edge technology in this area through our network services new business development group um, which will find their way into services and products not only in Europe but elsewhere. Um, 